Hey guys, <clears throat> I just wanted to go over my trading strategy, like how I find trades, and then discuss how I plan on automating the entire thing and doing something revolutionary. So, normally how I find trades is I go to a screener, whether that's the highest implied volatility or just ticker on, you know, if you sort by price change, you can see uh, some really good training stocks. So for example, this one is super good trend. Um, so that's a really good investment. If you buy an option expecting the price to go higher, there's a 95% chance the price is gonna keep going higher. You know, it's very rare that this is the top of this trend and it's suddenly gonna start going down. It didn't do that a year ago, it didn't do that here. So that's, my best bet is a, the steadiest slope possible. Find that and invest in it. <clears throat> like this one right here, super steady, nice slope. Uh, the other thing I do is I create a watch list. So I pick a strategy, for example, this EMA strategy, and I go through a few stocks and I find which ones have a good uh, return. So this one has 400% since uh, a, year, a year and a half ago. So what I like to do is check the performance compared to the buy and hold at the bottom. So you can see this buying and shorting does better than buy and hold. Not by much, but it's decent. And then I also look for the slope of the um, equity on the strategy. So I can go through a few of these that I have on my watch list. Um, might be the other strategy that's better. Let's take a look at some of them. And we can also change the time frame. <clears throat> so you can see 10, 11,000%. The buy and hold is negative 91%. So buying and holding since uh, two, three years ago, you would have lost 91%. But buying and selling constantly, shorting over here, buying and shorting again, you especially shorting up here. So using a strategy, you squeeze a lot more out of it. And some stocks in particular, you can squeeze a lot when um, you find the right strategy. So I make a list of the ones that perform well and I set an alert. And whenever the alert gets triggered, I can uh, do a trade. So for example, um, space, let's click on this. You can see space I had a, 1,400% return, whereas the buy and hold only had 300, so it's a good strategy, and it t and it says to uh, sell. Looks like a buy, but anyways, um, let's say we want to sell. I don't know if there's some mismatch. This says sell, but the latest one is buy. Um, but let's say you want to sell it, so we want to short it at 52. So I go into option strat and you can see a uh, few of the trades I've been saving just from these uh, solid, you know, steady slopes. You can see they make decent returns like 30%, like the biggest loss was 13% and then there's a lot with just 30% and that was in one day. So today is June 3rd. So in one day or actually in four hours, it made 32%, so it's very fun. Um, but what I would do is I go to optimize. So let's short space. I type in space and then bearish. So it only shows me the short ones. And then you can see right here, 250% uh, return. Uh, you can adjust to be more or less uh, risky. So I like to just leave it at default. And then you could hold shift and move this around to see the numbers change. So go to percent, see, you can move it around, try to get a little bit better uh, odds, check the bid ask, nothing too weird. So I would go ahead and make this trade. You bet $600 and your max profit is like, you you, risk 600 to make you know 1100 so that's a 500 profit if it's if it's 
uh, drops 20% in two weeks. But if it drops, you know, 8%, you still get 16%. So you can adjust it over here. If it drops 2%, you make seven, however you want. And then you can just make that trade in Robinhood. So since I have that kind of standardized strategy, I figured why not just automate it? For example, if I could grab a list of all of these high performing stocks and then put them all through here. For example, I make a robot that types in NEGG and then it checks the return. This one's not working. Let me change it to uh, USD. Okay, so initial capital is 100,000 and each bet we make is a full 100,000 so you can see the results. So the problem is that it dropped to zero. That's no good. And so I want to re go through, I want to make a bot that goes through each of these for this strategy and records the result. And it also records the buy and hold and also the minimum uh, that the equity hit. So if it hits zero, then that's garbage. And I also want the slope. So let me show you manually g box this is what the bot would do is to just click through all of them see how this is a nice not bad check the buy and hold record the results and put that into a spreadsheet and then let's say i run that once you know once a day maybe it takes an hour to finish and then it gives me a spreadsheet of all the results and i can subscribe to the best uh, strategies the best stocks for the strategy and set up the alerts and then as soon as it gets triggered, I can go in uh, and I wanna automate that part as well. So as soon as the alert gets triggered, so for example, sell lemonade, okay? As soon as I get that alert to sell lemonade right here, I want, a, look at this beautiful slope and it never goes below zero and it's better than buy and hold. This makes 230, buy and hold's only 43, very nice. So what I would want is the bot to automatically, <clears throat> once it gets triggered to sell, I want it to automatically go up here into uh, Options Track Calculator or something similar. Type in the lemonade, do the bearish because it says to short it and get the one that has the best return and log into my Robinhood account and make this bet for $400 with the max profit of 800. I want it to automatically make this trade for me. If, you know, certain criteria match. Um, so I'm actually happy to say I'm very close to that. So for the options uh, to choose the best option, I created an Excel spreadsheet that uh, I'm replicating the formulas in and I'm grabbing the data from this website, OptionStrat, and putting it into Excel and basically rebuilding um, these results so that my Excel could tell me which option to choose. And I already have a connector to Robinhood, so that second part is actually almost complete. And I just finished the first part where I'm able to use my Python coding language to test every single stock I want into um, the options track uh, into trading view and record the results so i have a bot that actually can go in here and you know type in a stock and then record the results and i also have a bot that can collect the data from ticker on so i'm very close i just need to put them all together and i can have the entire trading strategy from um, from scanning a bunch of stocks to find the ones that perform the best on the strategy maybe testing multiple strategies or possibly uh, multiple parameters within that strategy to fine tune it as much as possible. So let's say we find the number one stock. Uh, the best performing stock is Lemonade, for example. Let's say I tested you know 50 or 100 and the best performing one was Lemonade. Then I want to open up Lemonade and hyper uh, tune it by changing all of these to find the best performing uh, parameters for that 
limited strategy. And once I find that, then I want it to uh, automatically sign up for alerts, which I haven't tested that piece yet. That part I still need to test. And then I need a, some server on the back to, as soon as it gets alerted, to run my option strategy finder and make that trade in Robinhood if I have enough capital. And also, the most important part is that it can actually sell my strategy, my, my uh, close my trade whenever the bot, uh, whenever the strategy says, let's say we opened it on this sell, as soon as the strategy says to buy, we want to close that initial uh, trade that we had and maybe open up a new one for the buy side. And uh, please subscribe so you can uh, follow up. I'll let you know as soon as I put some of the pieces together, maybe uh, I'll show the trading view part or the options part separately. Um, it's gonna take a second to piece it all together and make it fit, but I don't see any roadblocks. I think we're very close to a fully automated trading strategy and I'm really excited. And uh, thank you guys for stopping by.